Ruronis, this is your pal, Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2020 update of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series that is made possible with the physical media video library series. Today, we're going to be doing a new video, which we haven't done before. We'll be doing these new video, you know, where I'm going to show you some new DVDs that I have picked. Like, we're going to be doing the ones, like, these DVDs that were released in the 90s. Without any further ado, which is right here, right now, let's do this. Late, the late 90s, DVD releases from the late 90s genres. Today, on the Physical Media Video Library Series. <laughs> Welcome back. It's been a while since I haven't done another video that is made possibly with the Physical Media Video Library series, which is about almost a month. So we're, we're going to be doing those new DVDs. Let's start off with the miscellaneous stuff here. The first one to start off with some miscellaneous, we have the 1998 deluxe widescreen presentation of Godzilla from Roland Emmerich. Yeah, this is a... This movie was kind of meh, in my opinion, but I know this did have the featurettes and has the actual trailers and it has DVD producer biographies, and this also includes the music video and a little mini documentary on there. Yeah, it's from the same creators who did Independence Day. And next I have is The Great Santini with Robert Duvall. Yeah, this is a 1999... Warner Home Video DVD release. I think I got this at Streetlight Records. It's not too long ago. Yep, because this also has. It comes in a slip case, which I'll show you. There's also. There's only 41 chapters in the movie The Great Santini. And here's the disc, what it looks like. Unlike most of the other DVDs like this, I haven't seen this movie, but yet, I'm going to plan on watching this movie at one point, until I can do a movie review on The Great Santini at one point. And next I have Lady Hawk. I had this DVD, and I got this at Target a while back, back in 2003. Yeah. I also did a... DVD and Blu-ray comparison of Lady Hawk that I did not too long ago, as well as I did a movie review on Lady Hawk back in, which is a couple years ago. Yeah, there's all the extras on there that has the production notes on there, and this also includes the theatrical trailer on there. Yep. Yeah, especially if you see on the, the picture on the menu. I even did a movie review on Lady Hawk not too long ago, as well. If you want to remember, this is right here is my miscellaneous section. Here I'm going to start off with the horror section. I have Pet Cemetery. This is my first Stephen King movie that I ordered on Amazon back in 2008. There's not that many extras. Yeah, apparently, because this is probably part of the widescreen collection from Paramount Home Entertainment. Put that one in the horror section. Next I have Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is the Francis Ford Coppola film with Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins, and Keanu Reeves on this movie. Yeah, so it said winner of three Academy Awards for best costume design, the best makeup, and the best sound effects editing, especially for Bram Stoker's Dracula. There's not that many extras, but... Yeah, this is a... Yeah, this is a nineteen. This is a nineteen ninety seven DVD release from Columbia, from Sony Home Entertainment, or back then was called um, Columbia TriStar Home Video. Yeah, this is a nineteen ninety seven Columbia TriStar Home Video release. I also did a movie review on Bram Stoker's Dracula last year, just not too long ago. Next, I have is. 
Anaconda. Yep, this has not that many extras, but this is also in its widescreen, full screen format on the, in a flipper disc on this one. Just like my DVD of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Both Bram Stoker's Dracula, both the 1997 DVD releases of Bram Stoker's Dracula and Anaconda are in its own flipper disc, especially in the widescreen full frame format. Next I have is Pink Floyd The Wall. I got this DVD back in Amazon back in 20 back in 2010. <laughs> yeah, apparently this did came with the poster, but I I cannot show you the poster, but one of these days I will do a DVD on DVDs with posters at one point, which I will do one of these days. I'll set this to the side right here. And finally, to the comedies, we have Ghostbusters with Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Sigourney Weaver. This is part of the collector series on there. Yeah, there's always there's, this has extras on there. This includes the 1999 star featurette, and this also has production photos and conceptual drawings, and it has story storyboards, split screen capture on there, the comparison as well. This also has the world premiere live video commentary with Ivan Reitman and Harold Ramis on there, including on if you see this, where it makes where it references Mystery Science Theater 3000 on that one. And it has 3D animated menus on the DVD Ghostbusters, which is only on the first one instead of the second Ghostbusters movie. And next I have Ghostbusters 2. I This also is in a flipper disc. I'm not sure if Ghostbusters is in a flipper disc. No, it's just the artwork like this. But for Ghostbusters 2, however... Yeah, it's all in a flipper disc. Yeah, and this does not include the live commentary, where it, where it does like a, the style, like a Mystery Science Theater 3000 live commentary style on the back of Ghostbusters 2. It's just how it is what it is. This also, not that many extras on there, but this has production notes and talent and filmographies on Ghostbusters 2 DVD on there. Well, what can you do? And next I have... Scrooged with Bill Murray. This is the comet, the com holiday comedy take on A Christmas Carol. I got this for like a. This was cheap when I got this at a book sale at a library not too long ago. And next I have Flubber with Robin Williams. This came out in 1998. This is the only Disney DVD that came out in 1998. This also includes. There's not that many extras on there. But this did include the, the the trailer for the movie. That's also film recommendations also on there. Yeah. And next I have Space Jam. I got this at a book sale not too long ago. Apparently this DVD did also came with a Blu-ray release on there. And next I have Detroit Rock City. I got this DVD not too long ago back, back in 2011. The extra... Oh yeah, apparently Detroit Rock City is part of the New Line Platinum series on DVD. There is also in a Canadian DVD release from Atlantic Alliance Pictures release on there. This has all the extras on there, which includes Learn to Play Rock and Roll All Night on Guitar from Song Express on there. This has more than 15 minutes of deleted scenes on there. This also includes different audio commentaries if you want to pause and read on the back of there. Especially the three feature-length commentaries on there. This also includes two music videos from the soundtrack, and it has the, the trailer for the movie, filmographies, and more. And the DVD-ROM features when you read the script on there. Yep, I got this. Apparently, this also did got a Blu-ray release. And the DVD of Detroit Rock City is also available in its snapper case on there. And next I have is... Ron, to the anime, we have Ron Mahath, Nihau My Concubine. This is the DVD special edition from Viz Video back in 1998 on there. Yeah, I also have it on D VHS, and I also have the bootleg DVD, which has the incorrect spelling of Ren Mahath on there. But this is the one I found where it has the correct spelling as Ron Mahath. 
and yeah, this is the same artwork. The DVD basically has I have from Viz Video it has the same artwork, just like the VHS of Ron Mahath I have on in my anime collection, which is distributed exclusive to Pioneer on there, which is manufactured, but it's probably a Viz Video release on there. And if you want to pause and read on the back. If you want to like, if you want to pause and read on the back, feel free to. If you want to read it, this also has character profiles and conceptual drawings, and this has the English and Japanese languages on there. And this also has some more extras on, from Viz Video, like the previews from other Viz Video titles on there. Put that right there. And next I have is Ghost in the Shell. This is a 1998. Manga Entertainment DVD release on there. This has all the extras on there, which is probably in the same content. This also did got a Blu-ray release also, and I still need to get Ghost in the Shell 1.0 1.0, something like that, yeah. Next I have to the two volumes of the anime OVAs. I have Macross Plus Volume 1. This only has two episodes on there, which is Parts 1 on there. Yep. Just up, which I'll show you right there. And I also got Macross Plus Volume 2. This is the top gun of Japanese animation by legendary director Shoji Kawamori. This also ha covers the last two episodes. Surprisingly, I have two volumes of Macross Plus, which means you gotta complete volumes. You have the complete volumes of Macross Plus on DVD. There's also the movie version of Macross Plus on DVD. I really need to get the movie version of Macross Plus, but as of yet, I don't have the movie version of Macross Plus, but one of these days I will get the movie version of Macross Plus at one of these days at one point. And that's all I have got for today for the Physical Media Video Library series. So that's going to be it for my late 90s er, 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 releases on DVD genre categories for today. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts about this. So, even though it's been a while since I haven't done a physical media video library series video, which is in the past for like one or three or three weeks, or which is almost a month since I haven't done a video until now, because I've always got them planned, because in 2021, because I got them, my anime collection set up, including a new shelf for the 2020 up one edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library series that is made possible with the physical media video library series. And I did the new intro, more some all together, with the brand new theme music, I guess. Hope to subscribe for content on my anime plant link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have Twitter and Facebook account and all social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave it in the comments in the comment section below in this video if you like as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuroniK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Click on the notifications bell button. Check out my updates that I previously uploaded in the past as well by clicking on the notifications bell button. And that's all I'm saying. Uh, and so keep it otaku for the anime DVDs from the late 90s on there, especially if you're watching this video as well. This is RuroniK95 saying thank you for watching my video, and I'm glad you liked it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon for the next Physical Media Video Library Series video, and I hope you have a great day. This is RuroniK95 signing off, and thank you for watching this video, and I will see you soon for more videos.